This video will guide you through operating your Century Safe digital chest or file safe. Let's get started. First, locate the factory code on the back of your owner's manual. This code cannot be changed and will provide override access if needed. For first time use, enter the factory code on the keypad. In this example, we will use 38591. A green light will flash to indicate the correct code was entered. Press down on the lid and pull up on the latch. Note, if an incorrect code is entered three times, the safe will enter lockout mode. A red light will blink slowly for two minutes. Programming or resetting your personal code. These models operate with up to two codes, a factory preset code and one resettable personal code. To set your personal code, first open the lid. With a pointed object, press and hold the reset button located on the top of the keypad. Enter a new four, five, or six digit personal code. In this case, we will use one, four, six, seven, zero. A green light will flash with each accepted code number. If fewer than four digits are entered, the safe will beep and the light will flash red after a brief pause, indicating that an invalid code has been entered. Before closing the lid, test your code by entering it into the keypad. The green light will indicate a successful entry. Be sure to store your factory and personal codes in a secure location and on www.registermysafe.com. Enabling and disabling the beeper. Hold down the numbers 1 and 9 simultaneously for 3 seconds. If the beeper is on, the green light will flash and the beeper will sound. If the beeper is off, the green light will flash but have no sound. For more information, visit CenturySafe.com.